Hey guys, welcome back. Going to be installing the choke cable and choke plungers on the carbs. Uh, the choke, this is the old choke cable, and you can see it's broken up here. So I ordered a new one and it came in. So now we gotta put it together and then put it on the sled. But first off, you need these brass pieces right here. You just unscrew. And that old choke cable's junk. Get it off the side. And here's the new one. So let's open this. Here's our new choke cable. It's got this all together here. It's not an OEM one, but we'll just try it, see how it works. Anyway, let's put the ends on it. So you have your brass end, just slip it over. Just screw it on. Just screw it on as far as you can, that way it makes getting the plungers on as easy as possible. Alright, now you need your three springs and three plungers. You just put the spring on and compress it. Stick your choke plunger. You need to compress the spring first. Hold it there while you slip the end into the choke plunger and just center it up. Just like that. The other two. Make sure they have no dirt on them because you don't want them sticking open. Then you'll wonder why I have high idle. So now you can see when I pull the choke, they do come back in. So that's working. So now we're ready to put this on the sled. Let's go do that. All right, we're ready to install our choke cable on the sled. So, slip it down in, and then just thread the br bigger brass piece in. All right, got them all in. Now let's go around and tighten that up. Okay. Those are all installed. Now we can put our cable or thing in the dash. But before that, you gotta adjust the chokes. You want up here at the end. You want about an eighth in, eighth inch of play at the very end of the lever. And so right now, there's no play there whatsoever. So just screw them down in. So now you can see I screwed them in the whole way. And I'd say there's just a little bit more than the eighth inch. And that's about good. So we'll let it right like that, and then just go around and tighten them up. And then... They are sound like they're moving up and down. So now we can install this into the dash. Just take the two Phillips screws out of the dash here. And I want to take this one off down here. The dash pops off. Now you want to go under the brake line. And over top of the bar. Wait right for that do that, just take your brake lever and flip it open and take your plastic nut off the end. There you go. There's a flat side on the chair cable and a flat side in the hole there. Make sure you get this lined up so it's a little bit easier to put in. And go over your gas tanks and under the wires. And there you go.
You can just finger tighten this nut, it's not a big deal. It's not going to come off anyway if it does come loose. There you go. Check cable's working. Which is nice. So now we can put our dash screws back in.